Paul, a disappointing and a frustrating night? I wouldn't say uh, frustrated and disappointed. You know, I think when you look at the game, we've probably done enough to get something out of the game. Disappointed with the results simply because I thought that we probably deserved something out of it. Again, it was a tight game like the other two games. And, you know, we gave away a stupid free kick and then didn't mark in the box, you know. Both really put you under the cosh a bit coming out in the second half, given that you dominated for a fair bit in the first half. Well, I wouldn't say we dominated. I thought they had a spell in the first half and we had a spell in the first half. I thought they did come out in the second half and started well. And then, to be fair, I thought that they scored. We got a hold of the game and we had a lot of play and there's a lot of um, couple of chances in the box. And then you're looking for a break at the ball. But in the tight games, it's, it's always a little thing. And that's what happened tonight, a ball into the box and someone didn't mark. And Dan Connor had pulled off some great, a couple of great saves just before that as well. Well, he pulled off one that was a cross come shot, you know. But I don't think there was a lot in it, you know, in the game. And I don't, as I said, the tight games they're always like that, and it comes down to if you look at the three, the, the two other games, they were two one nothing um, score lines, not a lot in them. And there you go, uh, unfortunately. But again, you know, it doesn't surprise you, you know. To be fair, the lads have been great. It's not easy when you're operating the way we're operating, you know. And I think um, again, when you look at the sides as well, we still have a few younger players as well. You know, you're looking at an experienced side there and a good team as well, you know. So as I said, I couldn't really say too much about um, the players. Of course, we would have liked them to win and stay in touch, but sure, not to be. Joe Gamble as well coming back tonight after a good few weeks out. You must be pleased with that. Well, the only thing is though, you know, the way it is with Joe at the moment is um, he's in, he's, he's sort of, he's not sure what he's knee, you know, and I think he was due to have an operation actually today, but he didn't have it, you know, and I think um, basically probably because of the situation in the club, he probably needs to play football and maybe somebody might see him playing and he might get a move, you know, because that's the way it is now. You, no one seems to know what's what's happening with the club and that's why I was saying at all for the team that's having the problems that we're having, that in fairness, the boys were very good, you know. Yeah, especially given that they only got 40% of their wages yesterday after six weeks. Yeah, but I don't even think, it's it's not even so much probably the money when it really comes down to it. I think mentally more than anything, you know. I mean, this has gone on for the last, since last July, probably with the club, the exam and then it started going again and it's it's difficult for them and I have to say that's why I said prior to the game to be where they are at the moment is fantastic you know if we could if we could try and hang in there and see what happens you know um, we'd see You lost to Dennis Bean a few weeks ago do you think that maybe you're starting to see that now not being able to get a goal this evening Of course you're right well I wouldn't even say Dennis you lost Colin Healy you lost Patrick Sullivan you can't afford to lose players like those you know as I said if you lost anyone else you know, we'd certainly, you know, just as well as I said, we're at the having the run that we're at the having. You know, hopefully we can stay there and um, finish maybe in a place that we might get um, European football ever. But it'll be difficult, as I said, because nobody seems to know uh, at the moment what way the club is. Yeah, considering that there's still a few weeks to go in the English transfer window, can you see yourself losing another couple of players? Possibly. Uh, to be honest, as I'm saying to you, you know, I think um, the position we're in, it could easily happen. And that's, that's, that's the problem. You know, if we lose any more, we've lost three. You know, that's a, that, like, that's a big hole in your t- squad. Because remember, we're working off of 13 outfield players and, t- and two goalkeepers, 15 players. It's very, very difficult, you know. The other younger players, it's very, very difficult for them. Particularly if you want to try and stay where you are, you know, and try and finish maybe, in, like as I said, in a European place. But it's going to be difficult. The only thing is we can just try and hopefully get past um, the end of this month and nobody else lives.